Okay, this is going to be our demo showing shear center. Um, so, first of all, we're going to start with the C-beam, um, which is similar to the problem, example problem that we did in class. <clears throat> so first, we'll try it at some location way over here, which we know is wrong. And so, we'll see that this thing is bending and also twisting at the same time. Maybe I'll bring it out further so that the twisting is a little bit more obvious. Okay, now we'll try the location of the centroid, roughly the centroid. Oops. We still see a little bit of twisting, but not very much. Now we'll overshoot the centroid, or the, the shear center, and we'll see that there's twisting in the other direction. And finally, we'll look at the shear center, which is roughly around here. So we can see that we have pure, nearly pure bending without any. If we had done this demo in class, I would have had you calculate where the shear center for this cross-section was first, and then guess uh, some locations. But since we haven't done that yet, um, we can go ahead and try a few locations. And we can see the twisting um, that occurs if we stick uh, our weight here. And then we are going to try putting our concentrated load over here on the left hand side and we see that the cross section twists the other way now. And now we're going to place this a little bit closer. We see that there's a little bit less twisting a little bit closer on the right hand side and a little bit of twisting again. And finally, we'll just go ahead and jump towards the center and see what happens. And as it turns out for this case, the centroid and the shear center are in the same location. Okay, our last cross section is um, a half circle. You can see the plate that's in front to help us attach things. Um, you can see it's a thin walled pipe made out of some kind of aluminum. I should mention here that the AOE machine shop worked on these. Okay, so let's try a few spots for our shear center. We can try uh, this point over here. This one is very, very, doesn't have very much uh, torsional rigidity. So we can see immediately how much it turns. We try putting this at the circle center. Also, get just the circle center. If it were a whole circle. Still not the shear center. We try maybe approximately where the centroid would be. Nope. Try way over here. We see the circle twist the other way. Twisting a little bit less, so we know that our MX moment is decreasing. Until it finally reaches zero.